Hi guys, I'm gonna try a new intro today. You guys ready for this? Let's see how this one goes. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this. Welcome back guys. Today we're doing- That wasn't good. Welcome back guys. Today we're going for win number 290 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the game. Get some gaming going on. Have a little bit of fun and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. Let's get right into it. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm trying to see a, what, if a new intro is going to do anything decent. You know, I kind of don't like the what's up, guys. It's kind of good. I might keep it still. You might be like, why am I trying to change it? I just want to change it a little bit. But anyway, today we're going to start this run. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the intro. If you guys like like the welcome back, guys. Today we're going for win something. Just a quicker, like easy intro. Do I have to introduce myself? I don't know. Anyways... Today we start with tier rate that is above average, below average damage, um, kind of bad speed. The seed is V4, BN, Q2, FX, and honestly, we don't really have any really solid items. We do have Immac not the Incubus Conception. It's, it's the opposite of Immaculate Conception. It's the Devil Deal version of it, and I don't know how it works, but it's going to be kind of nice. If we can take a lot of damage, we might be able to get Incubus. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so burpy all of a sudden. We might be able to get Incubus. We might be able to get uh, Twisted Pair. We can get a lot of good stuff. So we'll see how this goes. And my hair looks a little bit weird today. I was wearing my hood like all day. It was cold in my house. And so I just had my hood up. Because uh, it was Thanksgiving. And yeah, if you guys do celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys all had a great day yesterday uh, celebrating Thanksgiving and had a good time with your families and friends. If you don't celebrate it, hope you had a good win Thursday. Wednesday? Thursday. I don't know what day it is ever. Yeah, I just spent the day, um, I woke up, I just was pretty much playing Pokemon in my living room while hanging out with my family, because, you know, all I do is play Pokemon. Um, and we had some, we had a good, a good Thanksgiving, we had, like, a Thanksgiving early dinner, we ate at, like, 5pm, which usually my family eats at, like, 9, but we don't eat dinner on Thanksgiving, not dinner, we don't eat, like, lunch on Thanksgiving. So we usually have, like, a, a breakfast, so we had, like, a very small breakfast, and then a really, really big meal that was, like, potatoes... Uh, green bean casserole, you know, us Americans and Midwestern whiteies with our casseroles. You know how it goes. I know a lot of other people have casseroles. Anyways, uh, we had that, potato, I already said potatoes. Uh, we had candied sweet potatoes, if you guys have never had those. Pretty much you just like fry some, not fry, it's like pan fry uh, sweet potatoes until they get like a little caramelized on the outside. You use like sugar with it and it's like super good. Something that my family eats a, not a lot, but every time we have like a Christmas meal, Thanksgiving meal, like any big meal, we usually have have candy, sweet potatoes, and potatoes. We have both of them. We love our starches for some reason. I mean, I, starches are amazing. I can't, I can't, I can't say they're bad. So I have a single piece of hair that's just super long. That's annoying me. I'm just gonna rip it out of my skull. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been pretty chill. We've been watching the, uh, the Great British Bake Off. It's a really good show. I mean, we watched it last year. My grandma's in town. She usually stays with us for a couple months, um, around Christmas time, uh, which is always super fun. And yeah, so we just watched the Great British Bake Off. It's a good show. Let me tell you, 10 out of 10 would watch again. It's just, it's just fun. Watching people cook is always good. I always used to watch, um, not the the Food Channel, Food Network, yeah, Food Network, and I loved Master Chef. I love Chopped. Like my family's always watched those type of shows, and so it's a good, it's a really solid show. It's very entertaining. But yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to go to the Curse Room. I do want to go to the Curse Room, but I want to go into the Curse Room and lose my Red Heart health. So I don't want to lose any health on this in this room. But if I lose health in this room, it's fine. But I do want to take as much damage as possible this run. That way I can have our passive item actually do something. Um, by giving us familiars, which would be really nice. And I'm pretty sure the familiars that come out do not count towards conjoined or any of the transformations. So they're not going to be, they, they can be super useful, but there's, it's not going to be super, super crazy. But I don't remember. I can't remember. I feel like sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And this should be a damage up, I believe. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know how Constellation Prize works is it does two things. One, it gives you the, the consumable you have the least of. Uh, so since we had a tie between bombs and keys, it decided that it was going to give us, also I sh shot that poop, um, it, g it decided to give us a key, um, because if it's a tie, it's just a rank, it gives you one of the two. Um, and then the way that it works for your stats is it gives you a stat, a, a stat increase to your lowest stat. So right there, you can see that our speed is slightly below average, but not super, super below average, but our damage was an entire point below average. Everything else is pretty much the same. 
I don't think shot speed or luck are really affected by consolation prize. I think it's mainly range. I think it's I think it's range, damage, tier rate, and speed. But since our damage is so low, that's why I knew it was gonna be a damage up, which is very nice. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually gonna take a, a couple more hits of damage. Yeah, and you might be like, why are you doing that? This is all in the name of science and what I mean by that it's all in the name of we're trying to take damage and I know I lost a soul heart by doing that but I think that's what we should be doing trying to lose soul hearts can be really good I think we know for a fact the secret room should be here if it's not here it'd be kind of whack but it is here and we got two boss from it which is good I could open some chests but we kind of have learned that the pat from the cat well I can't speak from the past couple runs that opening a lot of gold chests early in a run is a recipe for disaster um and you know what? If I, I I'll get enough sense, uh, not sense. I'll get enough money. I guess enough sense. I'll get enough money to um, get glowing hourglass. I think I'm gonna take it with. Now compass would be pretty good. The only issue with compass is it doesn't really directly benefit me in any way, other than let me letting me go through like the floors quicker. But it's not like it makes my survivability any higher, kind of. So. One thing that is pretty cool is if you have compass and you have glowing hourglass, you can go down the hole to the next floor. Like, for example, you could come down to downpour. And if we didn't like the setup of this floor for some reason, we could glowing hourglass back to the last floor. Which I don't know how that works now. Also, why did I not go to the item room? Okay, I'm going to go back to the item room. I literally have a key for it. Okay, I am struggling right now to hit these guys. Yeah, I really need a haircut. I really do but yeah I, I'm, I took glowing hourglass that way we could like maybe go for a planetarium item maybe we could go for uh, devil deals instead of angel deals but not have to commit to it we have a lot of options if we take it so I'm happy about that and we don't really care about fart baby and we don't care about d100 so we're going to leave this room and get our planetarium chance and this is kind of the way that you should play if you have glowing hourglass like Honestly, usually if I would go in that room, I would take uh, probably Farting Baby just off the pedestal because it can give, give you conjoined, which is fine. But like, if you have Glowing Hourglass, neither, the, neither of those items are going to win this run for us. Neither of them are going to help us even like win a floor. D100, can it be fun kind of? Sure, it can be okay. Not like anything too crazy, but, but it's fine. Uh, and we know the secret room is probably... We actually have no clue the secret room is right now. Actually, it could. I, I need a full clear before I can actually determine where it's going to be. I think it might be below the library. Yeah, the secret room is going to be below the library. That's the only place it can spawn on this floor. It. That was dumb damage. Jeez, I was not paying attention. Well, no devil deal for us on this floor. I completely didn't look. I was not even looking at those fart clouds. Um, but we know. Yeah, we know for a fact that the secret room has to be below the library because that should be the only place it, place it can spawn that's crazy that means that we're gonna have a huh. that makes no sense there's not any spot that a secret room could spawn technically because it can't spawn adjacent to the item room I don't know. That makes me upset. I, I don't know where else the secret room can be. It can't be below here. It can't be to the right of here. And, like, it's not... Like, we know the super secret room is going to be right here. Like, that's the only place I can have a secret room, though. And this is actually so good. Okay, one sec. This is going to take me a second. I need to be careful. Okay, there's no spikes. There's only fire. We are fine. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a little risky. I think what I might do is go up to two hearts of health waste like a half heart of health but we'll be fine uh, but we are just going to sacrifice a bunch right now why because damage is good for us if we have incubus conception i don't even know what it's called i don't know cambian conception that's what it's called i knew it was like some uh, yeah cambian conception i knew like we just want to take damage because it can make it can give us familiars uh if worse comes to worse then we just don't get anything like it, there's literally no downside to what we're doing right now other than we're losing time and the only thing that time can is good for is trying to go for boss rush and i've not been going for boss rush for a while some people like when i go for boss rush a bunch but it, and personally it does not it doesn't make my runs any better 
it can it depends on what items are in there sometimes you go to boss rush and it's literally two like four of the worst items you've ever seen if you want to get a second extra item then you can finish boss boss rush but usually if i don't get a good item i just get out of there most of the time i just don't like doing boss rush boss rush is a little unfun um yes yeah, so we're just gonna keep running back and forth and you might be like this is painful why are you even doing this listen sometimes you do things not because you want to but because you have to and i'm still so confused i have zero idea on where the secret room can be like it's probably off by itself off of some room but like this is the only place that makes sense that it could be if the boss room wasn't there there's not really any other spot that screams oh i'm an item room if we get our, if we get an angel deal right here that'd be super super sick it's really unfortunate that i lost as much health or that i lost my deal chance we'll be okay I know this is painful walking back and forth not the most fun entertaining thing in the entire universe but you guys are gonna be fine it's gonna be fine okay this gives it takes us to the angel deal actually and I'm not gonna fight the angel right now I uh, yeah I just can't fight the angel right now cuz I'm I'm literally so weak I don't even have I barely have base stats right now like I have a slightly above average damage and and pretty high like pretty above average um, tier rate, but fighting an angel with that if that's Gabriel it's GG. And sure I have glowing hourglass so it wouldn't have been a risk to do it, but I there wasn't like a reason to. Um, okay, so we have one heart of health left. I feel like. Let's check this poop real quick. I know you guys might be like yelling at me like, why have you shot the poop yet? I honestly just didn't want to uncover the spike rocks. I know it's like a pretty dumb reason. Like there's zero re reason I would walk into them, but I, I was just worried. I'm like, I do not want to walk into the spike rocks whatsoever. And I'm not going to go pick up the soul heart yet for a simple reason of if we lose our deal chance on this floor, it's actually a good thing for us. Since we've already gone to the deal, um, I'm actually going to take, I, I want to take damage on... I want to take damage, but I don't want to take damage on purpose. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. Okay, that means we lost our, our angel deal chance. If we can angel deal, it's literally a 1% chance angel deal, and that's disgusting if we get that. Good. And you might be confused, like, why we wanted to go to a 1% chance angel deal. Now, the reason why is because we already got our angel deal uh, via the sacrifice room, and what's cool about that is that does not affect... Um, that does not affect our chance on that floor or it doesn't affect like it doesn't it doesn't like really trigger us getting the, the the angel deal on that floor what i mean by that is when we go to the next floor we're gonna have a hundred percent chance at getting a devil deal or an angel deal i think it's gonna be a devil deal i think we still have to get our guaranteed angel deal or devil deal first um but what's cool about oh we oh my gosh we got twisted pair and we got oh dry baby we could get conjoined right now Dang, we could get conjoined right now. Interesting. But we'll still have a 100% chance uh, at getting a deal on the next floor, which is pretty cool. Now, what sucks about it is it is going to be a late deal, but what doesn't suck about it is we already got a deal because of the sacrifice room. And this is why sacrifice rooms are just elite. And right here, this is why I didn't want to fight the angel on a single heart of health. Now, am I on a single heart of health? No. I would have been if I fought the angel in the angel room. And sure, like, I could have... I. I would have been fine. I had glowing hourglass, but we are so elite right now. And I'm like, do I want to get conjoined right now? Is the question. Is it worthwhile to get conjoined right now when we know we can get it guaranteed? Or is it smarter for us to wait? So I, I gotta do this. I gotta go look for the secret room. Like, it has to be right here. It has to be right here. Like, I'm just perplexed. I, I really just genuinely don't know where it can be unless it's, like, maybe off of the sacrifice room. Like, I'm going to bomb here, most likely. I think I'm just going to skip. I don't think I need conjoined. I'm going to bomb this. It's not that. I don't even, I don't even want to bomb right there because I'm almost positive it can't be right there. Like, is there a chance that it could be above this room? Like, is that even, is that an option? Is that something that can happen? I'm so confused. And you guys, you guys might be like thinking I'm dumb right now, but I'm genuinely just so 
so lost for for what I don't even know. I have, I have zero clue where the secret room could have been right there. I was very sad that the book um, did not show us where the secret room was. But we're fine. We did get Twisted Pair because of Camping Conception, which is super sick. Um, it's not every day that you actually get good familiars from Camping Conception. Like, the chance of you getting, like, I Incubus or Twisted Pair isn't awful. As you see, we did get it. But it's not, it's not amazing. So this is pretty hype. This is really cool. I did say, like, it'd be cool if we got Twisted Pair. And the fact that it happened... People might be like, that's suspect. I promise you, it's not suspect. I've I've been known in the past to say things a lot that are like shot calls. And I'm like, ooh, what if I can get this on this run? I did it for a couple runs in a row. That's just how it goes sometimes. I don't make the rules. Hey, who just... Higante fart. I didn't realize that... Wait. That affects enemy farts as well? Okay, wait. I need to drop this trinket right now. That is the worst trinket, I think, in the entire universe. I did not... Increases the fart size for everybody. I didn't even know that's what it did. That's kind of funny, though. But I don't want it whatsoever. I've never seen that before. And we are so low on health. And we will go in to the item room. And of course, if you have Glowing Hourglass, the way that you want to take your items, you always take your blind item. Even if the item that you want is your pedestal item, you always take the blind item first. The reason why is because if you take the blind item first, you only have to glowing hourglass once to figure out what all the items in the room are. So we take this, we realize it's complete garbage. Guess what? We're out of here now. And now we have our, we're going to have a 31% chance at getting a planetarium next floor. Um, and as you see, we do have a 100% chance at a, at a devil deal, which is pretty dang sick. It's exactly what I was saying was going to happen. Um, it's how it goes. Also, can Mr. Me open up chests? Also, why are Twisted Pair going so crazy? It's actually bothering me. Opens doors or chests. Okay. 50% chance to steal a devil deal. I might take this with me to steal a devil deal. But then that would make me not have 100%... Ooh. ooh our planetarium chance is going to be really high. Do I want to try to steal a devil deal? Or do I just want to go for the guaranteed angel deals? Gu guaranteed angel deals sound kind of sick. It's only 50% chance for that. Explodes who walls, rocks, shopkeepers, angel statues, machines, beggars. Attacks an enemy until it dies. Not bad. Okay, I need to get out of this fart cloud over, over here. Now that the fart cloud is gone, I can get back into this area. I oh, mean, I kind of got to sneeze. I hate the feel. I, I, I love sneezing, but I hate the feeling of having to sneeze. You guys know, I, you guys get what I mean? Like, sneezing is just one of the most satisfying things. I think it's because I don't, I spit a little bit right there. It was so spitty. I think it's because of how bad and like uncomfortable the the feeling of needing to sneeze is. I think that's why that's why I, I like sneezing so much. Oh, I, I this guy's been bad lately. This guy's been the worst. Now the card actually just was sick. Actually, it was super helpful. I think I am gonna skip the devil deal now. Skipping the devil deal here is a little bit interesting. This is floor four. So after this floor, we have. Mines 1, Mines 2, Mausoleum 1, Mausoleum 2, and Womb. So the chance of us getting um, a Devil Deal is we're, we're guaranteed to get one Devil Deal in that time. And that's it. Because next floor, is um, Mines 1 is going to be a 37% chance. Mines 2 is going to be a 67% chance. And then Mausoleum, is Mausoleum 1 is going to be guaranteed. And if we get the guaranteed one on Mausoleum 1, we have a 37% chance on mausoleum 2 and a 67 percent chance on womb so if we by skipping that devil deal right there we might only get one more deal this run is what i'm trying to say and i don't think this is worth it i will say just use glowing hourglass ruthlessly it's 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 okay like be smart but you can use it you can use it a lot if you just finish the, like finishing the floor first and then using it is kind of a good idea Hematemesis is actually kind of hype. Okay, nice. And was there anything good in this room? I got, I'm excited. I got Hematemesis. I don't think I care about any of that. I don't. It's actually worse for me. We can get out of this floor. And what's wrong with Twisted Pair? They're, I think the game does not understand that there's supposed to be two separate entities on either side of me. Weird. But yeah, our deal chance. We The... the Chance of us getting like two more deals in this run, even three, is not the worst thing ever. But realistically, we are only guaranteed one deal, so we gotta think about it like that. 
Now, have we already gotten a deal? Yes. So I'm not like super worried. We did just get one late deal. But we still got, like we got a late deal, but we also got a deal like directly on time. And now we no longer have to skip item rooms at all. There's zero reason for us to skip them at this point, um, since we did get the planetarium already. So now we just go crazy. And I'm actually gonna wait to go into the planetarium until I get more keys. And this is how you should play floors. Your best option when it comes to playing floors is to clear the entire floor, see what consumables you have, and then spend your stuff. Like if you see a gold chest pop up and you have two keys and you just decide to spend your key on that, like that one, that one chest, you're dumb. You're gonna have one more key for the rest of the floor, and you're gonna be worse off because of it. So I don't think, I actually don't think farting baby would have gotten me conjoined. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the shop first. Like since I don't have charges, it literally doesn't matter what order I do things in. Charges kind of really dictate how you play a floor. This is why glowing hourglass is kind of better than it used to be. At the same time, it's also kind of worse. I don't know how to feel about it still. Thanks for not killing me. You're the nicest. Nice. Okay, can I get one more key maybe? That'd be sick. Like guaranteed, I'm probably gonna go to both the item room and the planetarium room. Like planetarium room, zero reason to skip it. Item room, also zero reason to skip it. I just want to make sure there's not like a key in the shop and then like something else good in the shop because maybe it can be good. And glowing hourglass, using glowing hourglass to get out of here would be fine. Uh, hmm. My keys aren't looking good, but we don't have any money generation. So by taking pay to play, we'd actually almost be not worse off. I'm going to take this. We can get a lot of money in this room right here. By a lot of money, I mean like a decent amount of money. Nice. And now we have the equivalent of a dumb amount of keys. So we are very fine. Okay, good. And now we can open 23 rooms, 23 chests, 23 whatever we want to open. So I think that was I think that was a good play. I don't think that there was much better we could do with our resources there. We'll come in here. And always take the mystery item first, as I was saying. Even though, though we're most likely going to take the pedestal, like the one that's revealed to us, because it is just better, there's not any, there's no reason to take the one we can see first. We want to figure out what the mystery item is. That way we can only have to use one charge of our glowing hourglass, if not none. Because we take the, the mystery item and it's really good, then we don't have to use it at all, which is sick. And let's see what you have for us. And it's Mercurius again. That's crazy. Why do we keep getting Mercurius? Didn't we get Mercurius yesterday? I don't remember. This is kind of dog water, not gonna lie. Makes me sad. Does this, does this door stay open? It does not, interesting. They might be like, that's dumb. Why would the door stay open? I don't know, I, I couldn't remember if like the door would stay open in this room. I know it doesn't stay open for the boss rooms whenever you have Mercurius, so it shouldn't stay open for this room. But it's worth a try, guys. Sometimes you forget things. And the best way, can, the best way to learn is to find out. <laughs> That's my favorite quote I will ever say in my life. You guys know the person who said F around and find out? That's that's kind of a motto everybody should live, live by. It's wise. Wise beyond anybody's ears. Also, we could, if we went really, really fast, go for boss rush still. Now, how fast would we have to go? Approximately a minute and like 20 seconds per floor. I think by approximately, I think exactly a minute and 20 a minute and 20 seconds per floor and we could do boss rush now is that gonna happen no could it happen maybe um that was bad you know what let's check what you are none of this was good you know let's check what you are at least we don't care about you we use glowing hourglass as much as we need to it is the way and your reason i'll just do this i can use glowing hourglass again if i really want to Give me a bomb, please. Thank you. We bomb for bombs, baby. Okay. Okay. Mm Interesting. The champion, the speedy champion, even though he's not running towards me, is still kind of scary. Can we get a Necronomicon effect? That would make me happy. So today I was sitting on the couch thinking. I was thinking about, um, I was watching a Sidemen video like last night 
I was thinking about how people from Nigeria are called Nigerian. What are people from Niger called? I've never known this. Are they also Nigerian? Because Nigeria is a place. And Niger is a place. And I I genuinely don't know. Like, are they also Nigerians? Because I've never... I've, like, there's... I just don't know. I'll probably just look it up after this. But... It really was just blowing my mind. Because I don't... I. It just it would just make sense that they would also be called Nigerians, but I feel like they would get they'd get mad because they don't want to be called the same thing as another country. Like nobody does. Like I don't want to be called Canadian <laughs> because even though I live in America, I don't know. I know it's dumb, but that's what I think about. But yeah, uh, in other news, Pokemon's going good. I had a little bit of a. A, a huge scare today so whenever you're playing and you're trying to get go for shinies you turn off autosave and the thing is if you turn off autosave you should turn it back on me being dumb not really being dumb i knew what was happening i i decided to turn it off and leave it off um and then when i started playing again later like earlier today after i'd played for like three hours i caught about 80 pokemon because i'm trying to complete the pokedex i was just like using quick balls all over the place um I was just catching Pokemon like crazy. I, sh I caught a shiny Hopip at, at some point during that. Um, and I was like super hype. I was like, this is going great. And then like I, I put my Switch down for like a couple hours. I come back to it, I turn it on, and then I turn auto saves on. And everything's fine. Like the game is going well. Nothing is wrong. I, pl I play for about 10 minutes, the game crashes. When I load the game back up, for some reason, even though I turned auto saves back on, it did not initiate any auto saves. Also, I forgot I can just do this. I literally have glowing hourglass, so I don't have to finish any of these rooms. Is this the play? We don't get any room rewards, but this could be the play. I know I don't have to stick in this room, but might as well. But yeah, I got I was horrified. I just like looked at my my switch and I was just like, I, I like I don't know what to do. I like this is not something that I had ever mentally prepared for. Also, I'm just going to blow this up. And nope. You know what? We can glowing hourglass out of that. Just so we don't waste a bomb. Now, is it dumb to glowing hourglass out of a room just to wa not waste a bomb? Maybe, but it also doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to use glowing hourglass that many times on this floor. I'm so bad at this game. Jeez. I just can't dodge that. But yeah, I was like super, super sad because I like I had caught so many Pokemon and done so much stuff just trying to like complete the Pokedex. And it was just it was just lost. I just caught, even caught a shiny. That was the worst part about it is should I have saved directly after I saw the shiny? Yes. But like I had turned auto save back on. So like in theory I should have been fine. And I just want to test this out. If I don't get conjoined from this, I don't get conjoined from this. We're just going to keep rerolling to see what else is available to us. Um, I can't do anything about that. There is... Okay. So there is... Buddy in a box. Now, can I get Buddy in a box? Probably not. Let's try bombing you real quick. Okay. Let's try something. Let's try something. Okay. So we're gonna re-roll. We get King Baby. We re-roll. We re-roll. We. And then from here, we bomb. I think this gets us to. Yeah, this gets us to Buddy in a box. I don't know how I actually counted correctly. I'm actually pretty hype about that. But now what we need to do is get a couple more cents and we get Buddy in a box and then we have Conjoined, which is sick. And all I really care about is Conjoined. We're not getting boss rush, so I don't need to like speed up too much. It literally doesn't matter at all. 14 cents. I think there was a, no, there was no rock that could give us money. I think it's called a fool's gold rock or something like that. Oh my gosh, are you not gonna die? I just thought he was about to die in a second. So I was just like, yeah. I don't need to do anything too crazy. Thank you for walking into the fart cloud. Oh, but yeah. So, continuing my story. You guys might be like, oh, do you lose all your progress? So, there's this thing that they um, they added to, to the game where if you hit B, X, and the up button on your D-pad, it like at the, at the menu screen, like uh, the start home screen on Pokemon, it will... It'll pull up a backup save 
And what I found out that's really cool today is even if you have auto saves turned off, you will actually still have backup saves saving. So it means that you can play the game completely with auto saves turned off and still have save points. And I think it saves whenever you like go to a poke, a poke station, whatever it is. Like a pokey stop. I don't know what they call it in this game. Why can't I think about it? A pokey center. That's a poke, a poke center. Whatever you call it. But yeah, so luckily I was able to back it up to like immediately where like I had turned auto saves on before and it had not saved. And so I was pretty ecstatic about that. It was very, very nice that it didn't just actually screw me completely over. And I still have my shiny. And that's pretty sick. I'm going to take Blink Rune and hopefully this guy pays out. Ooh, Empty Heart's kind of cool. And we got Incubus, which is awesome. Did I, did I lose money somehow? How did I lose money? Did I buy something from the shop that I didn't mean to? Dumb. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so, how did I lose money? Can anybody explain? Did I do something bad? I'm gonna go try to get more money real fast. Wow, that's dumb. Oh, I'm so stupid, I paid it out to the beggar. I know you guys are all just yelling at my, your screen like you're an idiot. I realize that now. But look, I got conjoined, we're all fine. Like, no matter what, I was fine. You guys need to stop worrying so much. I was literally A-OK. -okay. Oh man. Please be one of the health rooms. That gives me 20,000 units of health. That's not 20,000 units of health. I will be I'll be straight up. A little disappointing. And 16 damage? Sheesh. I need to stop losing health. Health is very vital to the success of, your, of you in this game. And please give me a health down. Let, let's go. Health down, damn, or tier rate up is not bad at all. We only got a shot speed down, which is actually the best thing to get a down for, I would say. Um, I am going to go take a look around to see if I can get anything useful. There was a card in the shop that could be good. I do want to pay out the Devil Beggar if I can. I don't want to sacrifice. Not worthwhile. High Priestess could be interesting. I am just going to like full clear. Because if, if it does get a little... If it doesn't get a little dangerous, I'll be fine. There should be a worm in this room. Yep. I was like, why did it not end last time? Very confusing. And this is why I don't really care about Mercurius, is because I like full clearing. Especially on Ian Streaks, I like full clearing. If I'm doing like a run for like like achievements, I will use Mercurius as much as I need to. Because I don't care about anything. I'm literally just trying to get a completion mark. On the Ian Streak, I'm trying to get as strong like powerful as I possibly can. Okay, good, and I think we just go to the next floor. And I am just gonna do this. It might sound like a stupid idea, but it's my stupid idea. And we will get an extra red heart uh, on this next floor because of Empty Vessel, because we don't have any full red heart containers. So it gives us a heart. So Empty Vessel is actually really, really good, especially if you're going for Devil Deals. Bad news is, is we're not going for Devil Deals in this on this run. Good news is, that it still like, lets us have some fun and lets, lets us be kind of okay. And we are so weak. Wait. My damage was so high. It was 16. That was crazy. I know why it was. But I didn't realize how bad my damage was now. Okay. And I'm very close to death. I know coming down here is probably not the best idea. But, like, in my opinion, it was the only idea that works. Look at this. Incubus, you are my savior. With King Baby by by your side, you will be able to do so many things. And I did. Uh, people did tell me in the comments that um they changed King Baby to now to now he freezes your. I was about to say Pokemon. Jeez, my brain's completely rotted. It, it freeze. Wait a sec. I don't have to do any of these rooms. I'm gonna do them, but I don't have to. Um, it freezes any of your familiars that you have. And that's so good. Okay, I did say always go for always go for the mystery item first. Dang. 
Oh, which one do I want? Continuum or Brittle Bones? Okay, anyways, King BB freezes, freezes your familiars and makes them shoot at the nearest enemy so they can shoot diagonal, which is pretty cool. Um, now, right here, this is this is the dilemma that we're running into. So, Continuum is awesome. Gives us crazy range, lets, lets our tiers go through like the walls, and it's really good with Conjoined because our tiers are more likely to hit, especially the ones that go off to the side. The only issue is our range isn't too good. Brittle Bones, however, the way that it works is it gives you all your red hearts turn into bone hearts. And anytime you lose one of those bone hearts, you actually get a plus 0.4 fire rate up. So we would get a, in total a plus two fire rate up, which is, or that's the highest tier rate or fire rate up we could get from Brittle Bones, which might not sound like it's anything too crazy, but you gotta realize like that's, that's insane. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All I need is to get five cents which is easier said than done. Nice. Hey, money is good. Nice. I want you. Okay. So this is what we do. We pick up you. And the reason why we're picking up that soul heart right now is because also I'm dumb. I can't take brittle bones anymore. Anyways, this is fine. The reason why, if we want to take Brittle Bones right there, it's better to pick up Soul Heart before you take it than compared to after. Because if you use Brittle Bones, all your Red Heart health goes behind that Soul Heart. So your Soul Heart becomes your very first Heart of Health. And so you'll, you'll lose the Bone Hearts first. And you want to lose Bone Hearts um, with Brittle Bones. But it's probably better that I don't go with it since we don't have a lot of health. And we don't really, we need more damage than anything. And so I think that going with Continuum might actually be the better play, especially in the long run. Who knows, though? I think it's the better play. Jeez. I'm just taking damage like crazy. Now, luckily... Oh, wait. That was a soul heart that took damage? Okay. You know what? We're not doing that. I almost took damage again. Okay. Good. We're fine. Sick. I don't want to bomb into here. This is going to be a bedroom. The, weird, the reason you know that is because the only rooms you bomb into are bedrooms. Since it's a clean bedroom, we know there's going to be a crawl space under here, which means it's an, an extra little secret room, uh, which is very cool. It does give us quince, which we like. If it is a pee bedroom, which you can tell by a pee stain on the bed, there's going to be a trap door instead under the carpet, which leads you to the next floor. So be very careful about that. If you're ever looking at these trap doors and trying to tell, like, you're trying to figure out where they go, a ladder means it goes to a extra, like, secret room on the floor. No ladder means there's a trap door and goes somewhere, somewhere, like, to the next floor next yeah to the next level level floor whatever you call it i'm just gonna go to the boss fight pay to win actually pays off a lot right there actually i have zero money that's actually really not good okay i'm actually running so low on money i did not even realize that that's so bad okay um I was thinking to myself, there is a blood donation machine that I could have like I could have used that bed so much smarter, where I like went and used a bunch of my health in the blood donation machine, then got full health. But in my mind, I was like, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It actually really kind of does. And I'm gonna go do something real quick. I do want to go get my star card back because I want to be able to use the star card as soon as we get to the next floor. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, good. And the reason I was being so cautious right there is because I don't really want to lose any of my health. My health is very, very valuable to me. And I like it a lot. I just need to, like, I need money. And I always forget I just need money. Money is good. And there shouldn't be any other, like, special rooms on this floor, like arcades or anything like that. I think there technically could be something. I can, I can check. I don't know why I'm playing so weird. I always forget I have Mercurius. Okay, there is a, this is a vault room, I think is what people call it. I think that's what it's just called. Okay, good. I might as well go in here because, look, we spent two cents to come in here and we got more out of it than we put into it. That's called stonks, baby. And let's do this. Okay, curse room. Curse room is actually kind of sick. We do love the curse room, mainly because I have glowing hourglass. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, then we just keep it and we can carry on with our life. Okay. Mini boss or boss or yeah, mini boss is fine. 
this is a mini boss. I cannot think of any words today. Is it a mini boss room or is it like an elite room? Mm. I don't think it's either. I think it's a mini boss. Anyways, let's go to the curse room. See if there's anything good in here. And I think we know that this pill is just a luck up. Which I don't... Eh. You know what? I'll take it. I know we don't have any luck based tier effects. And so that's kind of dumb not to like just glowing hourglass right there. But I think we're going to be fine. I'm really not too concerned. We have a good amount of damage right now. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be A-OK. -okay. We still have like a whole nother floor after this. Before we take like a full heart of damage. The next floor shouldn't be too hard. Okay, that was kind of bad damage. Okay, if I lose my deal chance, we do just have to glowing hourglass real quick and redo this. Okay, good. And by good, I mean really not good. That was about as bad as that could go. I don't know. Why am I playing so bad? Okay, at least that was a half heart of damage and not a full heart. So now we can do this without... We can do this easier. And we still got our angel deal last time, so I didn't have to pay for that. Anyways, we are fine. Monstrous Tooth, watch out. Thank you. Uh, I do need to get Soul Heart, so I'm going to do this real fast. No Soul Heart. One Soul Heart. And one Soul Heart's fine. Don't mind it. So now we can go next floor. Okay. Um, Cricket's body is absolutely insane. I don't even care what the other items are. At all. Why? Because they don't matter. It doesn't matter what they were. Maybe it matters a little bit. You know what? Interesting. Okay, so you can't, like, you can't use Glowing Hourglass a bunch. I thought you could maybe use it to go multiple rooms back. Not possible. You just go between two rooms. Very interesting. But maybe it was dumb for me to just pick up Cricket's body. I think it was not the worst idea ever. But yeah, we are just so low on money. It's not even funny. Oh, bars. And I'm, it kind of pisses me off that keys no longer have any use whatsoever once you pick up pay to win. Now, is it kind of like, is it kind of ba a balanced item in that way? Sure, it's kind of a balanced item, but like keys are now useless. Like I want keys to do something. Like can make it so we just can't get keys anymore. Like no more key, can, like key drops. Would that make sense? I think it would, personally. Does my opinion ma really matter in that case? Not really. I'm going to be honest. My opinion's a little whack sometimes. Uh, we are just going to run throughout here. I do not want to do that. Thank you. Ooh, we do have to do this, however. Thank you. And we kind of have the full clear right now. Not full clear exactly, but we have to clear a decent amount just to get money. But now we got that. We're fine. Oh, my gosh. That was brutal i could have just, i cannot go i couldn't have gone around that room that's just a room i wanted to get out of we can finish off this floor we will be fine hopefully we get the angel deal it's a very low percent chance that we get the angel deal but we should be okay and we just have zero damage whatsoever it's pretty pathetic and this is what sucks about going for angel deals is going angel deals will almost never get you damage now there's sure there are some items that do give you damage like jesus juice godhead Godhead, I know now. Now I know it gives you a slight damage up. Um, Godhead's fine. Uh, Halo, Sacred Heart, Immaculate Heart. Like I, I know I just listed a bunch of items that give you damage ups, but those are all like really like top tier items. Most likely you're not gonna get those on a run, and you're probably gonna have a kind of rough time. So be careful. Uh, if you if you don't have a lot of damage, you might want to go for Devil Deals. Like right now, we have not gotten, I don't think, any damage on this run other than a uh, consolation prize. Which we also, yeah, that's the that's the only thing we got. We got consolation prize. And is that bad? No, not really. Um, but like we haven't gotten an actual damage up this entire run. We do have lusty blood, uh, which I, I get that can be looked at as a damage up, but we don't have any like just straight up damage ups that just make our lives slightly easier. We are we are in a we are in a rough spot. One hundred percent. No kizzy. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna bomb this. I know I need to stop shooting. Like when I put a bomb down, but I can't. I can't stop myself. 
Okay, uh, I think we should go down this way. I think, actually, I'm so dumb. We can just run. I don't want to do it. I don't want to clear any of these rooms. There's like pretty much zero reason to do so. I'll clear this room since I pretty much already had to. And this room's too scary not to full clear. You're going to take damage if you try to run through it. And look, we got a soul heart up here. I don't know why. don't know where from. I just know we did get one. And this room has to be fast. If you don't shoot that, um, you don't shoot that troll bomb, you just can't get the bombs down there. Nice. And confessional's interesting. Confessional's actually really interesting. Um, the reason why is because if we use it correctly, um, if we go down to having no red heart health in our red heart containers, then on the next floor we actually get an extra red heart container. And I'm taking so much damage right now. Like, not even extra iframe can help. Okay, sick. Awesome. Glorious. Okay. And we have a lot of health around the floor. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Why not? I should have done this before the uh, the fight that we just did to get more damage. Those are a lot of reasons I should have done many things right there. Okay, that can give me give me soul hearts. You know, this is actually pretty legit. We're going to go get all the health. I am going to start just full clearing this floor. And we do want to go for Mega Satan. But are we actually going to do Mega Satan is the question. I want to. But I'm feeling like a little not too good about this run. We have way too many, and I mean way too many, keys right now. Like, the game will not stop throwing keys our way. Which is kind of infuriating. Like, I just don't understand why you can still get keys when you have pay to, pay to win. You can just make it convert it so, like, each key gives you, like, two cents. I know that's like not even the value of a cent. That's the crazy part. But like that'd be fine. You already have an item that's changing a lot of the game. We'll be okay, I promise. Okay, lots of health, which is really good. What was in here? It was poop. Easy clear. And we are very strong right now. I, I realize that like we are very, very strong, but we're really strong for a lot of like easy enemies. We're not strong in regards to any enemies that can actually do anything to us. Like, a single a single boss or a single enemy in a room, we are kind of useless against. So, we gotta be careful still. And yeah, don't, no reason to do any of those other rooms. I will... I will go down to a single red heart of health. Oh wait, we have you now. Okay, sick. And by sick, I mean not actually super sick, but kind of sick. Um... Yeah, let's just do this. Is your reason not to do this? See, we got a soul heart from it. Now we have a single red heart. Now when we go down or go up to the next floor, we're actually going to gain a red heart since we only have a single red heart of health. And that's called Empty Vessel right there. Empty Vessel is actually really sick. It can be very, very worthwhile. But you got to be... You got to be kind of careful because you don't want to get too much red heart health. Like right now, we're kind of edging into the territory of having too much red heart health. I think the most red heart health you ever need on a run is like five. Normally. Maybe, maybe more is fine. I don't even know. It just scares me. And Mr. Boom is fine. That actually lets us go into secret rooms. No worries. Nice. And we'll take you. Okay. Um, one thing that's really cool about Mercurius that is kind of interesting is once you get to the chest floor, uh, you can actually no longer bomb through doors to, like, skip a room. It's just not a possibility anymore. But, okay, that's actually, that right there is actually not good for us. And we don't even want the full card. Um, but with Mercurius, you can actually still run through those doors. So, like, I can just go crazy and just run through all of the doors and skip all the rooms on the next floor for freebie. And I don't have flight. If I got flight, that'd actually be really sick. Okay, we have infinite bombs. So we could get flight right here. Not super easily, but it is a possibility. Let's see. Okay, I just need anything that can give me flight. Because Satanic Bible, we could get Satanic Bible. We could get, get Satanic Bible right here. You know what? Yeah, I think we just grab Satanic Bible. Why? We can do that. We can immediately get the health back. We get Bookworm. And we're better off. 
And now that one luck that we got, uh, like, a while ago that we lost health for, turned out to be very, very good. And this is just a chaotic screen of nothingness. It scares me. I need to stop actually clearing rooms. There's pretty much zero reason for me to clear rooms at this point. Like, we just gotta run. Like, I could get health from right there, but I don't want health. Health is bad. Not even doing that room. Hey, but we found the super secret room. Now, should I have just cleared that last room? Probably. Because if we did end up to it, like, a, at a dead end, like we did just now, then we would be out of luck. Not really out of luck, but... That worked out, but shouldn't have. I mean, now we just have to go back through that room, and it can be scary. But if you do it fast, it literally... You can do it fast enough to where it does, you don't even have to, like... You don't even have to worry. Um, interesting. I don't know why I'm still clearing rooms. I'm out of here. You guys can't change me. You ain't me. We don't have, like, we really just don't have that much damage. Hopefully we get some damage on the next one. I really should have gone for, um, shield, honestly. And what really sucks is... We can't actually see enemy tiers super well. Unless we really, really pay attention, it gets kind of hard to understand where the enemy is actually shooting. Okay, this is actually going to be the easiest phase for us. And yeah, I would recommend for a lot of people, like, you might see me, like, run through these beams and all that kind of stuff, and also, like, move around a lot for, like, the hush attacks. Unless you're confident about doing that, it's usually easier just to stand still at some at like some spot in the room. Uh, the only reason I do it is just because, I don't know, it gives me some dopamine. I like it, and it uh, in my in my opinion, being active helps me like not take damage, so I think it's fine. But we'll go next floor. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. We'll have to see. Curse of the unknown. Not the worst thing ever, and this is actually a crazy, crazy set of items that we just got here. That's actually wild. Okay, I'm actually just going to pop this real quick, but like, look at this. Why was it so crazy? Because like, everything just shoots, and oh my gosh, we're going wild. It's crazy because Eyesore just like, also has Continuum, and we just have so many tiers that are always active. Which is insane. So even though we don't have a lot of damage, we have so many tiers that like things just can't hit us. Especially with Cricket's body. It's wild. And I might need to do the save quit. Like I might have to do the exit game to put like a little checkpoint up for us at some point. Because I'm scared the game's going to crash. Like very, very concerned it's going to crash. Also, as you can see. Okay, that was dumb. You know what? One sec. As you can see. We can simply run through rooms and not fight any enemies. Now, I am full clearing for a specific reason here because by full clearing, we can get chests. Chests give, give us items. Items are good. We appreciate items very much. Okay. Um, do that. Might as well pop that. I don't know if we are actually low on health whatsoever. I think we're full on health right this second. But yeah, only issue is it's so hard for us to see anything. Uh, but Bloody Gust and Bloody Lust, anytime we take damage, we actually just get like more tier 8 and more damage. So we're just going to be almost better off because of it. I forgot we have Tarot card, which is kind of sick. I don't really want any more Red Heart health, I'm going to be honest. And... Okay, we should be fine here. Range down, really, really bad. I found pills. I'm drowsy. Retrovision. All just bad pills. We really, really do not want to see um, range down. Range down actually hurts us a lot. Just because what we're banking on right now is that with conjoined, a lot of our tiers are going to miss, but we we hope that with uh, continuum, those tiers will come back and hit an enemy at some point. But look at us go. Give me some more chests. I am almost at enough luck to where I'm almost guaranteed a chest every room. I'm not there yet. Once you get to six luck, you're more likely to get chests. So not even close to guaranteeing you anything, but almost. Pretty much. Good. It's just a bomb. 
And this is a room that's kind of hard because I can literally not see anything. I can kind of see things. But whenever he shoots purple tears, I'm lost. He's shooting at me? I think he is. I do have a uh, shield of destiny or whatever it's called. Whatever the shield item is. That is helping me out a little bit. So I can kind of block tears a, a little easy. But like this room right here, for example, like we don't have enough range for our tears to actually go too far. So we got to be a little, a little careful. We gotta, it's going to take us a little bit longer to kill enemies. Okay, good. One enemy down. And I do want to get... Mega bombs would be kind of cool to get here. So come to the middle of the room. Thank you. I need to remember to set up my familiars in like a pretty decent spot. Here we go. We're just going to fi finish full clearing. And then we will go do Mega Satan. And we do have one glowing hourglass uh, charge remaining. Which I probably... I'm glad I have one remaining. Because if, if it starts to get scary... We'll be okay. And I do not care about Bucket of Lard. The extra two health you get from it's actually really, really cool. But it doesn't help us in any way. And, okay, Little Brimstone is horrifying right now. I just see the laser going, Vroom. and they scare me. I don't like it. Okay, just don't stand be beneath Bumbo or Bumbino and you'll be fine. But, yeah, I do not need two hearts of health from that. I do like my soul hearts. I want to have as much soul heart health room as possible. It makes me happy. Okay, bombs are bad. And look at this. We are we actually just put like the entire room in like gridlock. Hey, that's mine, Buckaroo. Not yours. Not me. Not Hermione. You. So I I think I said it earlier in the video, but we've been watching uh the Great British Bake Off. Which I, I've watched, uh, we've watched for a couple years now. And I love British accents, let me tell you. British accents, kind of insane. I also like Scottish accents. But there's a part in the uh, in the one that we were watching where the two, the two, uh, what is it, like hosts of the show, Noelle and Sandy, I think that's their names. I think her name's Sandy. Try to do accents and like, one of them's like, I can't do accents. It make, always makes me sound like I'm Indian. Or it sounds like I'm trying to do an Indian accent. Which rest in peace to the Indian folks out there. People are misrepresenting your accent. I'm sorry about that. That's pretty funny. It's such a good show. And look at this. I can just relax and sit back here forever and ever and ever. You might be like, why do you stop shooting for a second? Uh, I was trying to switch to Satanic Bible and it didn't go co completely correct. We should be pretty fine. We're full on health right now. I know I took damage, but I used Satanic Bible to fix that. And we just don't do as much damage as we would really want to be doing. I do need to try to count how much damage I take just to be as safe as possible. I've not taken a lot of damage, so we should be pretty fine. But I just have zero clue on how much... Like, it's, it's we have no clue visually how much damage we've taken. So I should be at 12 hearts of health. So I'll... Keep an account. Keep account of what's happening. Man, I've been watching Hunter Hunter just for like the millionth time in a row. Just get it's like, it's the show that every once in a while I'll just go to sleep to, because I do like to like try to watch a show when I go to sleep. But I usually if, when I'm going to sleep I just I'm so tired so I just like pass out. So I need a show that I can just like turn on and it doesn't matter if I like I miss like part of an episode because I fall asleep. But man, it's so good. It's just one of the greatest shows ever. And people who don't believe that. That's their opinion, but it's so good. It makes me happy. It's my comfort show. Okay, good. I feel like we should almost be shooting more tears out right now. With uh, Incubus and Twisted Pear. But hey, at least we do like extra damage because of them. There we go. If I wanted to end this a little bit faster, I could just take damage. And like taking damage is a dumb idea, pretty much always. You never want to purposely take damage. But, like right here, it makes us do a little bit more damage and makes us shoot faster. It just makes our DPS actually so much higher. And I forgot that our shield's actually doing something right now. Like, oh wait, if I just if I just stand right here, I shouldn't be able to take damage. Is 
This is the way. There we go. I had Incubus not close enough. It's so hard to precisely aim this. But look at that. The shield's actually really strong. I don't like it. It's not like my favorite item ever because I'd prefer just to have more damage than an item that can like block tears. But that right there, actually pretty helpful. And that right there is going to be the run. So if you guys did enjoy win number 290 in a row as Eden, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel. Helps me grow. I hope you guys like the new intro, or hopefully I can find a new intro or something. I might just go back to the old one, honestly, even though I find it cringe, and then just do that for that and not do dumb intros for big videos. Anyways, love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys next time. This is Preets. Peace out.